Hello, Dick. This is Master Control. Slater coming up on monitor four. Stand by. Okay. Waiting for Q. Go ahead, Slater Isle. This is Dick Hartzell, and you're looking at Slater, population 600, a farm trading center four miles off U.S. Highway 69 in Central Isle. In Slater, the whole town's talking. Down at the grocery store, Kermit Granson is saying that it's either a new gym or nothing. And if it's nothing, the town might as well fold up. Over the phone, Mrs. Ed Twitt warns the people of Slater to stop thinking about basketball and start worrying about what's going into their children's heads. And at his office on Main Street, old Dr. Severson says that if Slater wants to stay on the map, the people must build something the town will be proud of for the next 100 years. March 6, 1952. To Slater, Iowa, a town with a problem, comes television to catch the face and voice of America itself. This is the Slater School, famous for its spirit and its basketball team. Tonight in this gymnasium, before the eyes of the television cameras and the entire quarter million viewing audience of WOI-TV, the citizens of Slater have come together to talk over a serious problem. Their school needs a new gymnasium with a larger floor and more seats. Basketball means a lot to these people. It ties their community together, gives the town its spirit, gives the children something to fight for, cheer for. But some of these children must go to classes in this old wooden grade school built around the time of the Spanish-American War. And the people are wondering if this building, which was good enough for them when they went to school, is still good enough for their children. In exactly four days, on Monday, March 10th, these people will go to the polls in an official school election to vote for or against a new $35,000 gymnasium. And so they've called this meeting here tonight to ask themselves what is more important for their children and the life of their community? A new gym or a new grade school building? To help them make their decision, they've asked Rex Kahn, farm editor of the Cedar Rapids Gazette, to lead their meeting. Mrs. Twitt, uh, this is the first school bond issue to be put up for a vote in Slater for quite a while. How are you going to mark your ballot, for or against the new gymnasium? I'm going to vote against the bond issue for a new gymnasium because I believe that the thing that is more important is the education of our children. If we had the financial status that would make it possible for us to build both a gymnasium and a grade school, I'd say, fine, go ahead. But if we are compelled to make a choice, I think the grade rooms come first. Well, Mrs. Twitt, I asked for your opinion because you represent the thinking of a lot of people in your town and because you've been about as close to the school as any person in the community. Yes, Mrs. Twitt's entire life in the Slater community has centered around the school. Every May for the past 29 years, she has clean seen the classes graduate, and with four of those classes, her own children graduate. Her daughter, Catherine, is in this picture. She was a guard on Slater's state championship basketball team two years ago. These are wonderful memories, and she won't forget them. But there are other things she can't forget, or as a former high school teacher, as a member of the Slater School Board for seven years, and as a substitute teacher today, she is constantly reminded as she walks through the halls and up the creaking steps of the inadequacies of the long ago outdated Slater grade school. And though her life, her children's life, her family's life, had been tied up in the spirit of the athletic teams of the Slater School, she feels there is only one thing important in the issue which faces her town in the coming election. What is best for the children? The children must come first. Most of the folks in Slater will agree with Mrs. Twitt that the children must come first. But they have some different ideas about what the town should build. The gym or the grade school. Bill Shout, how are you going to mark your ballot next Monday? I'm going to vote for the gymnasium. I agree if we, uh, we are, have in inadequate classroom space that we simply don't have the money to build a grade school building. Well, I think this gymnasium is a step in the right direction. And I think that it's a, uh, it's a plug for the town. It's, let's get this program on the way. Let's don't wait. We'll get those classrooms later. Well, there are a lot of people in Slater who will back you up on that, Bill. 
People who have had your faith in the town. People who know the Slater School the way you do. Yes, Bill Shout knows the Slater School. It's been the center of his entire life. His life's been built around it. When he was a youngster, he walked this way to school. Today, a man with a family, he still walks this way. For he lives in a home across from the school, and from here he operates a prosperous oil distributing business. He travels many miles each day, both in and around Slater. And as he services his neighbors, as he carries on his business, he sees and talks with many people, his own people in his own community. Bill Shout has been around the world, but he came back to Slater because, as he says, there's not a town on earth that has Slater's spirit. And Bill Shout knows because his oil business depends on the people of Slater, and he sees and talks with them every day. The Bill Shout, the new gymnasium, must be built, for if it is built, it means Slater is building, and the town and the people and the spirit are building. But if the bond issue next Monday is defeated, Bill Shout feels that more will be lost than just an election. Bill Shout, what do you think it will mean for the town if the gym is voted down? Well, I believe it'll be a blow to the town's progress. Slater is facing a problem, which I, well, I'm sure other communities in this area must be facing. The last building program we had was in 1917, 35 years ago. So consequently, our, our schoolroom and gymnasium facilities are inadequate. Our gymnasium is very narrow, has no seating capacity, the grade school building, oh, it's a, partly a wooden structure, but it's modern. It's as modern as any school building that was built before 1890. We, uh, now, a plan has been devised whereby we can increase our physical plant to keep a pace of our growing town. Now, the plan calls in two parts. First, we build the gymnasium, and then we added these needed classrooms, five or six needed classrooms in the space now occupied by the present gymnasium. Now, we, uh, any bond issue is limited. So I say we can get the most for what we've got to work with using this plan. So Monday, now we're going to vote 35000 only $35,000 on the first step in this plan. And I believe this is a step in the right direction. And I also believe a vote of yes on Monday would mean a better school. Well, Mrs. Twitch, you've had four children go through the grade school and play basketball in high school. Do you agree with Bill? No, I don't agree with Bill Shaw. All this bond issue provides for is $35,000 for a gymnasium. At the present time, our need is greater for grade school rooms than it is for a gymnasium. The front part of our old grade school building was built in 1887. The whole building is in poor condition. The lighting in that old grade building doesn't come up to state specifications. We had two electricians estimate the cost of lighting that building properly and their estimates ranged from $400 a room and up according to the size of the room. It's unwise to spend large sums of money on a building that we know will shortly be uh, replaced. Ever since World War II, conditions have been unfavorable for building, and if the time has now come when we can build, let us be sure we're doing the right thing. Let us think and plan wisely. I agree, the old gymnasium is woefully inadequate. And I too want athletics to have its proper place in our school program. But because this bond issue does so little for, I am in favor of voting down this bond issue and then at a later date, let's present a new bond issue, which will provide both for this gymnasium and for sufficient funds to reconvert the old gym and the old stage into the necessary classrooms. 